Hey guys, it's Carlton here, and today I wanted to give you a little tour slash update of my Aurora cruise ship. And I wanted to show it to you with the shaders on so you could see how that looked. So, apologize, it's going to be a little bit laggy using the, the shaders on this entire thing since it's such a large build. But, I'll go ahead and do that for the exterior just so you can see how the ship looks like using that as well. One of my favorite things about this one is the reflective glass that you get. It really brings out the look of the ship being able to see the reflections in the glass. So definitely want to be able to show that off. I'm using uh, the Continuum Shaders mod and this is actually the first version of it in the later versions that I've used it actually doesn't have the reflective glass in it so I wanted to go ahead and use this one so you can see the reflections coming through it's absolutely beautiful the way the water looks go ahead and come around the back I'll also show right here I added the little update on the back I added the name using banners right here along the back as well as the large lettering on the side of the ship also come around and show the lifeboats I changed a little bit because the old lifeboats that I had were um, they're actually a little bit bigger than standard lifeboats so I went ahead and redesigned it so the lifeboats were smaller and are actually accurate to real life uh, lifeboat sizes and that way I was able to add two more onto the ship so that way the ship actually now has the correct number of lifeboats for the amount of passengers it has so if it were a real ship and sinking people wouldn't drown which is always good I've also uh, added these little cranes right here these davits to lower the inflatable life rafts into the water up front here let me go ahead and put the time back up. Go ahead and fly over the top. I don't think I made too many changes to the exterior, just more so to show how it looks. Especially on the pool decks, it looks pretty cool with the reflective water in the pools. And let me go, uh, go over here. I also added this uh, compass logo onto the pool deck to break up the bare wooden deck and I added these little covers over the hot tubs to give you some shade when you're in there and let me go ahead and make it dark out so you can see how this pool looks at night it's really cool how this works now with the shaders you get the lights around the side you have this one band of light around the side but it's not really shining any light into the water itself so it looks like it's got a little neon strip around the whole pool looks pretty cool also gonna go ahead and head up to the solarium apologize again for the lag let me go ahead and cut down the render distance now and I'm on the ship that should make it run a little bit better I yeah, also want to apologize. The tour is probably not going to make any sense, but this is more just an update for those of you that follow the channel so you can kind of see the changes I've made to the ship over time. So I don't want to, just because I finished the ship and made the video, I don't want to just leave it alone. So I've been making little changes all throughout the ship and just making it better, so I want to give you the chance to see how those look. Solarium, pretty much the same came out pretty good the first time but it looks especially good with the shaders now the reflective water and the shadows coming through the big open roof also uh, added some little details up here some flowers brought the obsidian a little bit further out so that way over here it doesn't have the unfinished look of just the bare iron blocks as well as uh, I retextured these uh, cobblestone walls to look like quartz 
So now I have these nice solid white pillars holding up the roof in here. And let's see, let's head inside. It's about everything on the exterior that's changed. There's some bigger changes inside. One thing is this skylight up here. So before I had the packed ice to kind of look like sky, but I went ahead and redid it and put this little sun mural on the roof and brought the ice all the way over, extending for the ceiling on this entire floor. And then I changed the walls to white, so it's kind of like being in a cloud on this floor. You got the blue below, the blue above, and then you got the white. Plus you got the sun right here. And you get to look up at that from the lower levels. So let me go ahead uh, and turn the shaders off so it runs a little bit quicker. Alright, there we go, no more lag. Also you can see the elevators, they used to be the gold blocks, but I went ahead and did another new texture. It's kind of like a softer gold, like a metallic kind of finish, instead of the bright yellow gold blocks. So it looks a little bit more classy, it looks more like a modern finish you'd see. Also heading over here, gym area is the same. Spot area, I made a couple changes in here just to make it look a little bit nicer. We got some plants, and I added some of uh, that new gold texture in here. And the massage rooms, I changed and made them look a lot nicer in here, too. You've got the prismarine walls, this orange wood. Before, it was just too gray in here, so I wanted to make it look a little bit nicer. See what else I did in here. Let me go ahead, fly down. Oh yeah, I also added this. I re I have rarely used brick for anything, so I redid the texture for brick to look like leather. So I can now have leather couches and leather chairs in different areas on the ship. So you can see here, again, you've got the, these nice leather chairs. Keep going down. And then there's some bigger changes out in here. So go ahead and look down on the theater level. So where this used to be nether brick, I went ahead and redid it in the um, just the regular stained clay to brighten it up a little bit. Change the stairs here from stone to wood to match the stairs up here. I went ahead and uh, also I retextured the trapdoors to look like dark wood. So that looks pretty cool now here. Covering up the dirt like so. But instead of looking like the trapdoor, it now blends in with the rest of the wood trim defining the balconies. Then we'll head into the theater. The theater changed a lot. Stop by the elevator lobby here first. Added some plants and some paintings just to add a little, uh, a little bit more detail in here. And also you can see it's got like this cherry wood here. I went ahead and redid the texture for nether brick because I was mostly using it kind of for the color. The pattern itself for it's kind of ugly. So I was originally using it just kind of to resemble cherry wood. So then I thought, hmm. Why don't I just go ahead and make the texture cherry wood? So I went ahead and did that, so I now have an extra wood color. It's beautiful reddish dark wood. Then we'll come into the theater and <laughs> see I made a lot of changes in here. So it used to be all nether brick walls, but I don't know, it seemed not that nice. So I went ahead and redid the whole thing in the in this brown stained clay looks a lot more modern now, a lot nicer, and you've got this texture I made here. It's a uh, kind of like another brick colored lamp. I think that looks pretty cool. And then here where it used to be the gold accents, it's now the nether brick or the cherry wood. And then these pillars are now the softer metallic gold texture that I made. So looks a uh, 
Looks a lot more modern in here now. You can see these lights on the side. Added the sea lanterns with some glass to give it some texture too. Just bring the appearance up a lot nicer. The ceiling now, you can see has a lot more detail to it. Different levels and all. And then one of my favorite things is this chandelier right here. It's kind of like a double helix design with the sea lanterns and the glass. Pretty cool modern feature in here. As opposed to before, it was just some square lights up on the roof. And then you can see it's got the leather chairs down below instead of the wood ones before. A lot more comfortable. And we'll come over into this seating area. You can see you've also got the raised ceiling here with the cherry wood accents. So that's the new theater. Big change from before. We'll head out onto the deck here and move up to the mezzanine area. And again, you can see here's where carpet used to be, and I've now redone it with the cherry wood. A couple carpet accents, some ceiling detail up here as well to kind of get rid of all the random lights and give it a nicer look. Plus, this, uh, this cherry wood works really well with these, uh, these beige walls, I think. Looks a lot nicer than the carpet that was just here before. Kind of fly around here. We'll head out onto the mezzanine level. See the step down. I don't think I made any changes here in the casino. No, that's the same. Then the liquor store. It's got the wood texture inside of the brick now. The jewelry store. I made a couple little detail changes, but probably nothing that you're going to notice. Here I changed the wall texture. The pub I did a pretty big redesign. I used this this uh, lamp texture thing I made. Added the leather chairs in here. Went and added a lot of detail to the ceiling. Made it look a lot nicer in here than it was before, I feel. And then the sushi bar here. Made a couple little detail changes again. Just couple updates to make it look a little bit nicer in here. And the coffee shop I changed a big time. If you notice the sign before it had the Cafe Bustello sign, but it was just kind of a, a plain coffee shop. So I went ahead and redesigned it to look like an actual Cafe Bustello. So you've got the yellow features, but I also wanted it to look a little bit more modern. So you've got wood and the exposed beams in the ceiling as well. And then one of my favorite things is the banner here. If you know what the Cafe Pustello logo looks like, it's sort of like that. Couldn't really get any closer using banners in Minecraft, but just adds that little extra detail to it to make it feel a little bit nicer. Also, you can see the tables here. They've got these uh, iron bars now, holding them up now. Since they updated it now, the bars will... Uh, Instead of making the cross pattern, it's just one solid pole, so I changed a lot of tables to look like that. It looks pretty nice. Flying back here, you'll see again I went and added cherry wood flooring in here. Looks a lot nicer back here, because I had the turquoise carpeting to kind of match the inside of the dining room, which, for the dining room, I think it works well, but it just didn't really look good out here. So now that I've got this wood texture, it makes it feel a lot classier and then you've still got the turquoise carpet here because this is kind of designed like the inside of the dining room. I'll go ahead and stop in there. See I added these little uh, three diagonal things in here just uh, some more detail on the entryway. The seating looks a lot nicer now that it's got the wood instead of the brick texture for the nether brick and then down below I also changed the, some of the seat colors to match the pattern on the floor. So you can see I've got the blue seats where it's supposed to be the blue carpet, I added the leather seats where it's supposed to be the lighter wood, and then the nether brick seats where it's supposed to be the darker wood, and I also added these little serving tables down here at the bottom of the pillars. Just give you a close up of how these levels work here. You've got the center level that comes up one from the bottom level here. 
you come up into this little ray center section, come up again, you got the captain's table here, you got the clock right there, the big chandeliers up above, and you come up here again, you get another little level, and then up here is the balcony level for anybody staying up here. And then over here there's a little private dining room. So if you want to eat all by yourself with a group of people, you can go and reserve this room over here. So I'll go ahead and head back outside of the dining room. We made a lot of changes over here to the centrum area. So start over here by the um, the photo gallery because this changed a lot since now that I made the trapdoor texture a solid texture I went ahead and actually made the the photo stands this because the little walls that hang the pictures on aren't actually a full meter wide they're pretty thin so now you've got more accurate picture rows I also had a little head thing here so that's kinda like the picture frames you can go and put your face in there even though it's only me but Hey, at least there's one picture in here. And then, coming out here to the centrum area, I made a lot of changes out here as well. Really added a lot more detail, whereas before it was just kind of plain. As you can see, it's got the leather chairs now. And also these tables. I've got the end rods here for the center post for the table. And then also where the windows are, I added this little stair up above. And then where there aren't windows, I've got double stairs stacked like this too, so you've got kind of these little details all throughout. We've got this little planner right here. And then uh, you see the raised ceiling here. I brought it from just around the centrum. It now carries through all the way over back to the casino. You've got this little artwork thing here I made. I think it looks kind of cool, just wanted to break it up because they'll usually have little statues or whatever so I wanted to kind of build something some kind of art piece to break up this empty space went ahead and redesign the bar a little bit and let me head back to the steakhouse here this I went ahead and completely redesigned wanted to make it more like a real steakhouse in appearance make it light out Yeah, so you got a little fountain here too. And these uh, little wall details here. The exposed beams, the wooden walls. Just feels more like an actual steakhouse in here. And then the compass lounge over here, I went ahead and redid the flooring up here. Changed the wood and added a little pattern to it. Also the seats I changed a little bit. The roof added some curtains in for the windows, just some little incremental changes to bring the look up a little bit. And then heading back out, we'll head up to this deck here. So the lounge right here, this bar here, I went ahead and redesigned a little bit as well. The ceiling, I added some texture to it. 3D, the raised ceiling in here, and I added the leather chairs in here, and then I redid the texture for the bar as well in this metallic gold finish. Also, the walls are now the new purple brick in Minecraft. Then heading back, so if you remember the art gallery, it had the Minecraft paintings, but I also went and did some banner art here. There's a couple of pieces in here. There's two that I created myself. This one I did, and then this one here I did, and then the other ones I got from Planet Minecraft on the banners section that they have, and went ahead and did uh, signs below with the name and the creator of the banner. I wanted to go ahead and as a real art gallery, it's going to have works from all kinds of different artists, so I didn't want to go and make everything myself. I wanted to go ahead and have other people's creations in there as well. 
this area is still the same. I don't think I did any changes in here. I think this spot came out pretty good to begin with. And let me head back up. I need a little change in the nightclub. I'll go ahead and head up there and show that. Oh, also the state rooms here. You can see I added a the wood texture above the doors just because the hallways were kind of plain before and I also went and numbered all the rooms just to add some more detail in the stateroom section since that's where it was really lacking before just because there's only so much you can do with staterooms so head up to the nightclub area and you can see I also added the purple seats in here as well ties into the because the nightclub had already always had the little purple theme before so now that it's got the chairs in here as well that match the theme it really completes this lounge and might be yeah, it might be the everything that I've gone ahead and changed on here. Change the ceiling up here a little bit as well. Just give it one more flyover. I think I've gone ahead and covered pretty much everything. I've also got this uh, this wall was kind of plain before so I went ahead and added two plants and another little glass artwork piece right here. And up here, the champagne lounge, I went ahead and made some changes to. Some new red carpeting, new nether brick cherry wood texture in here. And I used these maps to put blue walls here. And then the trap door is to have a wooden wall here. Got that little ceiling detail matching the upper balcony. Let me stop by one of these bathrooms too. I went ahead and redid the texture for the sinks and made these little mirror banners. And then in the buffet over here, like I was saying, I changed the tables to the uh, to the iron bars. And I think that's about it in here. Didn't make any major changes up here. I'll head out and you can see I also added a little cover here above this bar. I added the gold texture to the funnels as well. And that about covers the whole ship in its current state. So I'll go ahead and head back inside and end this. I am going to eventually when I get around to it do the crew tour of the ship crew areas are all done and everything and I'll also I've got another ship under construction right now I'm building the enchantment of the seas said I was thinking about building it but I am building it the exterior is complete so now it's just filling everything in on the inside I've got to go build all the staterooms go and build all the public areas, the restaurants, the theaters, shops, and all that. So, obviously the inside is the long part, so don't really know when that's going to be complete, but that's under construction, so you could be looking forward to that. So, let me know what you think of the changes to the ship if you've seen the previous videos, and thank you for watching.